Judge is set for what should be a really good game one as this series gets underway. Introductions wrapping up down on the field and first pitch just minutes away. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Singy, this should be fun. Well, you can feel the energy in the ballpark, and these two teams have fought through so much adversity to get here. When you get here, you forget about individual statistics, and you play for the team. When a team is able to do that, they see themselves go to another level, and I'm looking forward to seeing that tonight. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. Today's starting pitcher, Max Scherzer. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Here's the veteran second baseman, Cattell Marte, and a pitch. That misses the zone, and the series is underway. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Upstairs. That's off the mark. Three balls, no strikes. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. That one hammered center field. Tavares ranging back on it. Racing back some more. Makes the grab on a leaping play at the wall. Well, that would have been huge if it would have snuck over the glove to take the lead. But great athleticism at the wall goes up and brings back a homer. This is Corbin Carroll. That one's in there on one. Just missed. Hit on the ground to the right side. He steps on the bag. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Gabriel Moreno. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Good oh. eye right there. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. And a one count. Ball, one and two. two. Fooled on that pitch. Got a little anxious. And now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Next one just misses. And that's ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. So here's Scherzer. 
Good job to fight that one off. Scherzer deals. And that's just foul. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And that one is lifted in the air. And that's a base hit. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. So two down. And the batter now, Christian Walker. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. High fly ball down the left field line. Carter drifts towards it, makes the grab, and that is that. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, getting the nod on the mound, Brandon Fatt. How about a scouting report on him? Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. Marcus Simeon, the next to hit, takes ball one. They say you win. And it is two and one. That one missed. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. The kick, the 3-2. Three, three. Down on strikes. And the struggles continue in the postseason. Now it's Corey Seager. He's got the power. But great Seager. contact skills. One of the best contact hitters yeah. in the game. And that is in oh for a strike. One. It's 0 1. And that's in there at the knees. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop up sometimes will carry out. Swing and a ball popped up. Rivera on the move. Two down. At the play, Evan Carter. This one in the air right field. And it one hops the wall. Carter into second and he's got a double. He was all over that one. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Man in scored position with two away. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. 
First offering misses the mark. This would be huge right here if they could get on the board and be the first ones to score in this one with the home field advantage. Get that crowd behind you and just intimidate the opposition a little bit more. That just misses. Two balls, no strikes. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. And a swing and a miss. Carter at second with two down. That one's in there. Two and two now. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. And now it's filled up. Mitch Garver in the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. Three-two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. To third. And he grabs it foul. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty delivers. Got him. And that is that. One left for Texas. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Tommy Pham. Scherzer back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Going to count one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Righty to the plate. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That is it. Here's Guriel. He's going, he's going. Fam on the move. Pitch is low. Throw to second. He's safe. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position? And a pitch. And a foul ball. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. No outs. Runner on second. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Two balls. And he deals just full outside, count. and it's a full count. Oh. 
That one ripped. Tavares going back on this one. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags up for third. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. And first offering is fouled off. One away with a runner at third. Next offering is fouled back. Stays alive. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Out to short. Zips it to first, and the first run of the game comes across. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Next to hit for Arizona, Emmanuel Rivera. That's in for a strike. Next pitch has popped up. Simeon makes the catch. And that is that. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Rangers nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Mitch Garver up to it here. Garver. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. Good purpose pitch right there. Oh, Trying to play. tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Ball. And now two and nothing. On the ground. Whips it to first. And a quick out number one. Batting six, the catcher, Jonah, Jonah Heim, digs in now. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. That's Next one point. misses, and that's ball two. Swings through that one out in front that time. Left field. Guriel trying to get there. Pulls it in for the out. Himself, the first baseman. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. A strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. 
And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Lifted in the air down the left side. Fair ball. Around first, heading for two. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. That misses. Whoa. And it's a ball and a strike. One one is fouled off. Next offering is down low. The count now two and two. Swing and a ball popped up. And that's a fair ball. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. Could tell Marte up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. He's going. Run around the goal. On the ground to the left into the outfield base hit and now runners at the corners nobody out a couple of singles back to back not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play that's a team at bat right there nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep Corbin Carroll getting ready to hit grounded out his first time up pitch misses one and oh well, these Diamondbacks showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. That one misses, and it's 2-0. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Line drive, caught! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One for one with a single so far. on but foul wide of third there he can move the ball around add and subtract get some weak contact at times so you don't worry as in the air right field Garcia heads after it brings it in runner tagging from third here comes the throw slide tag save it's two zip. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And now it's Christian Walker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Walker in his fifth season batting in the cleanup spot and he won a gold glove last season. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Two really good back to back sliders now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. In the dirt. That's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Marte on its second with two down.
Fouls it off, still one and two. Look like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks two, and the Rangers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Josh Young. The third baseman. Bat back to work. First pitch swinging. They say you win. Next pitch misses inside, and it's one and two. That's a good miss off the inside part of the plate. You'd much rather miss there than out over the plate where this guy could do some real damage. That one off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Inside three and two to count. Popped up. And there's one away. Batting nine, the center fielder, Leody. Here's Leody Tavares. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Perdomo on to first. Two up, two down. The batter, number two, second baseman. Here is Marcus Simeon. He was a strikeout victim his first time. All right, Rangers. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle, and with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ball game. And it's even up. We got one ball, one strike. Two outs. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One, two, three. Go the Rangers. And they're down to nothing. And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Tommy Fan. The right fielder, Tommy Fan. The pitch. And that's outside. Bounce to the right side, and it goes just foul. Next offering upstairs. Two ball, one strike. Fought off foul. Two two down. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. over one so far. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Just missed. Oh, 
Next offering is downstairs. A rare three ball Real. count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Here's a 3 0. And there's the strike. One down, base is empty. Swings through that. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Come on, Texas, let's go. Longoria in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Guriel leads off first with one away. On the ground, two ball. On to Simeon. And that's two. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers nothing. Bottom of the inning, Seager stands in now. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Way inside, gets out of the way. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Swing and a pop-up. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Up next to the Rangers, no left fielder, Evan. So digging in, Evan Carter doubled in his first A.B. In for a strike. 0-1. 0-1. And a swing and a miss. Got him swinging. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Garcia stands in now and watches strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. That one missing inside. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. The next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. Adolis Garcia blasts one out. His sixth of the series, and they cut into the deficit. It's 2-1.
high fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall. His top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. Base is empty with two away. And next is the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. There's the strike of the knees, going one. Up the middle. Marte throws the first in time. That's the third out, inning over. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. And the home team down a run. This is the American League Championship Series on the show. We go to the top of the fifth. And the batter now, Emmanuel Rivera. Emmanuel Rivera. The wind and the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Check swing, went around. And the count is 0-2. And the righty deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. On the ground at first. Could be two. Over to Seeger. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, they had the chance to turn in two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. One for two. In there for strike one. Perdomo, the base runner at first with one out. Struck him out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Corbin Carroll, the next to hit. Pitch misses inside, inside and that's ball one. Come on, Rangers. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. One one down. Way inside, and that hit him. Well, it definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to, and the release point was a little bit off as well. Now up next for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. Oh, 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Chris Stratton getting ready to go. Bradford getting loose as well. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Scherzer ahead one and two. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Two left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers one. Jonah Heim now at the plate. For the Rangers, the catcher. pitch yeah. that strike right there that catches the corner well he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole he's going to have to battle hope he gets a mistake the pitch on a line Guriel handles the chance. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. That misses, and that's ball one. On the inside corner for a strike. Falling behind two and one. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. And fouled off. Sets him down looking. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Man, just backdoored him with the breaking the ball breaking. right there. And I'll Number tell you what, six. as a hitter, it looks like it's a mile away, so you give up on it, and then it just hooks around that outside corner. I'll tell you what, if a pitcher can make a pitch like that, you pretty much just have to tip your cap as you walk back to the dugout. Ground ball, Walker. He'll do it himself. That's out number three. Nothing doing for the Rangers, and they trail it here. Two to one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Christian Walker. The why to kick the pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. The next offering misses. And one and one. down swinging for the strikeout slider got him for strike three well that's the money maker right there two strikes slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter I mean that's just tough you're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off now it's the right fielder Tommy Pham In 
in there, and it's 0-1. Good eye right there. Next one in the dirt. And the right hander deals. That misses the zone. And now three and one. And that's in for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Low makes the catch for the out. And there's two away. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. This one in the air, center field. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Longoria, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Longoria goes six foot one, 37 years young. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. You'll one. And there's a ball. Guriel, the runner at first with two gone. Right side, hard hit. On to Seeger. Out, out number three. So one hit is all they get. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers one. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Leody Tavares. The pitch. And there's the strike. He swings and fouls one off. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Simeon batting with one down takes a strike. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. And a 1-1. And that one is in for a strike. And that misses off the outside edge. And now it's three and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, 
I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. So now it's Corey Seager. Ball one there. The 1-0. Ball. That's inside. Evan Carter waiting to hit for the Rangers. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Carroll puts the squeeze on that one, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. On to the seventh here in game one. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers one. Chris Stratton takes over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Rivera. And he deals. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. One down. So up next, Geraldo Perdomo. On the ground right side and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. There now the one line drive that's a hit so now back to the top of the order. Everything came together for him really good swing right there you got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Cattell Marte. First pitch, and he just misses. Perdomo over at first with one away. Run around the move. Next offering is foul back. Here's a 1-1. And that one fouled off. Way inside, gets out of the way. One run game, one out, one on. And he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf tournament this offseason. So first and second with one man gone. And now Corbin Carroll. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play board. Next offering misses, and now 2 0. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Runners at first and second with one gone.
Pitch misses there. Three balls, no strikes. Way to lay off that pitch down. Gabriel Moreno waiting for a turn at the plate. There's a strike, three and one. Kicks and deals. In the air on the infield. And the infield fly is called. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that's in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering upstairs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Lifted in the air, right field. And that is that. No runs, a hit, two left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers one. Bottom of the seventh. Now here is Evan Carter. The right-hander back to work. That one is upstairs. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Swing and a miss as he was late. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Thompson up and throwing for manager Troy Lovello. Man supply getting cranked up as well. That one is absolutely belted. And it is gone! That's what the fans came to see, and they tie it up. It's 2-2. Put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Next to hit, Adolis Garcia. He's already homered here in this one. There's a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. There's a strike. Hey. Caught him looking for the K. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now, Mitch Garver. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. 
in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And one, one and two. two and a pitch. Two, two, uh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And a 2 2. That's a little bit low. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Fan on the move, racing back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Now batting, first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. So two down now, and here is Nathaniel Lowe. First One pitch, out. not close. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. Right back to him on the mound. Slings to first. Third out. And that ends the frame. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. 2-2 game. You're watching the American League Championship Series on the show. So they turn things over to the righty, Jose LeClaire. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Ball a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. And now it's even up. They say you win. At the belt and fires. Slider misses outside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. So digging in, Tommy Fan, One for three. That one fouled off. Down the line, it's a base hit. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Substitution now at first base. On to pinch run, Alec Thomas. Number five. 
Go ahead, run on base. Lourdes Goriel Jr. will hit next. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pickoff throw, and he just got his hand in there. Kicks and fires. Two balls, no strikes to count. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Flips to second, and that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. Now into the ball game on defense, Alec Thomas. He takes over and right. A new arm into the game, the righty, Miguel Castro. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Here's Josh Young. Leading off for the Rangers, the third baseman. And the pitch. Ball one low. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Slade Ciccone, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be ready himself. The 1-0. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. Two on that. Ripped on the ground a second. Marte throws the first in time. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Leody Tavares. And a good eye there. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next pitch misses outside. Two and one. And another ball. Marcus Simeon in the on deck circle for Texas. The 3 1. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. 3 2. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses first. And that quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Now, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. In the air, right field. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Thomas quickly gets it back in. Go ahead, run into scoring position as he stops at second. Been a pretty rough game at the plate for him so far. A bunch of strikeouts, so that felt good, I'm sure. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but 
you're always happy with an extra base hit. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead. He gets the attention to walk here, and now will force it any base with two gone. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Carter in the box now. Take strike one. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Cut on and miss. Go to third. Too late. Save. Double steal. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. The pitch. Going to count one and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next pitch misses. Two and two. And downstairs. Adolis Garcia would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. Simeon on third. Seeger on at second with two down. Taps softly to the right side. Walker takes it himself. What a play to end the inning. Rangers leave a pair. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now it's the DH, Evan Longoria. LeClerc back to work. There's a strike. That one in there across the letters. 0-2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One away. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And now here is Emmanuel Rivera. First offering misses badly for ball one. Righty delivers. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now it's going to be Geraldo Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Check swing, no appeal. And the 1 0. And there's a strike. Good eye right there. There's the strike. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. 
just off the outside corner. And the count is filled up. Cattell Marte on deck for Arizona. Payoff pitch. That's the third. Young. Zips it across. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. We are tied 2-2. Two, two. And welcome back. Now here is Adolis Garcia. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And the right hater back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. One hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. In safely at second base. And that's the potential winning run with nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing. Nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Mitch Garver stepping in for the Rangers. First offering misses the mark. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 -oh counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. In plenty of time to first, one out, bottom now of the ninth. Catcher, Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim digs in now. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Pickoff moved to second, and he's back in easily. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. One away, the winning run at second. Next offering is in for a strike. Runner leads away at second. Ground ball left side, and it's just foul. That was close. Going two now to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Play is made, two out. Up next to the Rangers, the first baseman. No so out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Joe oh. Mantiply. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Winning run at third, two down. And takes low for ball one. Hit, that'll do it. Across is the winning run, and the Rangers walk it off to win game one. Well, in the postseason, there's so much excitement, so much energy, everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these circumstances, these people have gone crazy. What a nice win, but you got to turn the page quickly to come back for the next game. A 
3 2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.